Even though Goodyear's public relations service through night messaging was established years ago, it was the Skytacular, Goodyear's right-to-left night messaging system installed on the Mayflower in 1966 that really lit the public's interest. No one had seen or done anything like it. With each side of the ship carrying over 1,500 lights, the Skytacular could flash messages and animation in red, yellow, green, and blue, telling us what to do, where to go, and, of course, what to buy. A few years later, technology, as well as the need to be a little bit bigger, better, and bolder, drove Goodyear to expand their night messaging system and the size of their airships. The Columbia could carry the Super Skytacular, named for having twice as many lights and three times the amount of wiring. Released from the left-to-right design constraint, the technician used a light pen to create magnetically red images flashed on a 105-foot long, 24-and-a-half-foot high lighted billboard. For the next several decades, this type of night messaging system was used by Goodyear to delight viewers with their whimsical animation and uplifting words. When I joined the company, the nighttime technology was a series of incandescent lamps that had colored lenses, driven by electronics that was designed back in the 1960s, mid-1960s. Uh, the electronic boxes were four boxes that carried on the airship, and weighed about 90 pounds a piece. And so we had a lot of weight to carry and we couldn't do anything else but night sign. So you had to, to create night signs frame by frame. Each frame was 1 15th of a second and you had to hand draw each one similar to what a cartoonist would do. Until the development of more advanced night sign technology, like that found on the new Stars and Stripes, where night sign messaging has taken another quantum leap forward. Basically we can take a scanner, scan in any kind of logo or picture or anything like that, and using uh, graphic manipulation programs, turn it into something we can play on the night side. And now we use a little integrated circuit board that has three colored LEDs on board. They're red, green, and blue. Very high brightness, and with the color mixing of the three colors, we can get any color of the rainbow that we want. Uh, before we were stuck, with four colors, which were just yellow, blue, green, and red. Now we can get all the colors in between and different brightnesses so we can get much better textured pictures. On a more serious mission in August 1992, the Goodyear Stars and Stripes used its super spectacular brilliance to be a sign of hope to South Central Florida. And Hurricane Andrew hit Florida, and that's our home. And uh, aside from a lot of anxious moments with our people on the crew that wanted to get home to find out what was going on, uh, the governor of Florida called our chairman at the time. And instead of proceeding to Dallas, we made a left turn at Louisville. And uh, they made it home in record time. And our job at that point was to combine what we ordinarily do as public service with messages, giving disaster and relief messages to places that had no communications. They were completely cut off from any communications. The, the, there wasn't any power, and the, most of them had lost everything that they had. They, were, they didn't even have any little portable radios or anything like that for anybody to get the messages out to them, where they could get help and where they could find things, because that area was just devastated. These people had to be taken care of. They couldn't speak English, so what could they do? Well, they came to Goodyear. And we, we put out a night sign with Creole for the, for the Haitian people, uh, Spanish and a, a Cuban message, uh, English on there. And we flew it all around the area, what they needed to do in terms of preventing typhus, where you could get help. Survivors were directed to water, food, and shelter. Survivors who had nowhere but up to look for help.